Hey guys, so welcome back to another one of my Disney limited edition doll reviews. Today I have the brand new Disney designer collection from the Disney Store 2017 and here are the five that I picked up. Without further ado, let's get into the review, let's go! Okay, so let's address the main question that you've all got. I know I titled this video the full collection and you're probably wondering, well where's Robin Hood and Maid Marian? But I didn't buy that one, um, usually they release the designer collections in waves of five and this year they did three exclusives for D23 and I ended up picking up the Mulan and Li Shang one as my fifth one because I didn't really like the um, Robin Hood one. Um, but here is my full collection of designer collections this year. They released three series, they released the fairy tale series up there. They also released a folk tale series, and then the Pixar Animation Studios series, which was only one, which was the Incredibles um, one released at D23. But here are the ones that I have. Let's go through them one by one quickly. Here is the Rapunzel and Flynn Rider one. Sorry, without the glare on this box. This is my favourite one. This is from the Fairy Tale series, and you can tell from the bottom because it has the Baroque style rim on the bottom. Rapunzel and Flynn. I adore this artwork so much. It's probably my, it is my favourite. The next I picked up was uh, Cruella from the Folk Tale series. Again, you can tell from the rim at the bottom. It's a different Baroque style patterning. It says Cruella de Vil. And her artwork is so sassy, I love this one. The next one I got was from the Folktale series, which was Moana with the Kakamora. Steve Thompson did an amazing job with this series and the artwork. Um, and there it says Moana on the plaque. And then next is Ariel and King Triton. Another one where the artwork is absolutely stunning. Love, love, love that they've included a Triton doll and she is from the Fairy Tale series. And finally, from the Folk Tale series, here is Mulan and Li Shang with Mushu on her shoulder in her ping outfit. Adore this one. And then Mulan and Li Shang. The others in the series are obviously Robin Hood and Maid Marian, The Incredibles and then the uh, Pinocchio one with the blue fairy. So here is the first from the set that I'm reviewing, which is my favourite, the Rapunzel and Flynn Rider set. This is my favourite, I love it, I love the execution of it, I absolutely love how they've done it. You've got Flynn in a chair with Pascal, Rapunzel's dress looks incredible. She has no eyelashes, but honestly, I don't care. I'm going to switch to my other lens so you guys can see the amazing details in this. Here is Rapunzel close up. She is amazing. She has her really big green eyes. She's got purple and silver eyeshadow. No eyelashes, but honestly, this doll is stunning. Who cares? She's got her freckles. She's got her obvious peach blushing. She's looking to the side with her little sassy eyebrow raise pose. Just look at her hair. Her hair literally is so long, it cascades down. I'm trying to keep this as quick as possible, but as you go up to look at her outfit, it is stunning. It's her normal purple dress, but like zhuzhed up a little to be a bit designer. So it's got like a crisscross pattern for the corset at the front, and then these little panels here, which are absolutely amazing. I love that there's loads of them with a little gold leaf design on it. This is absolutely stunning. I actually love it. Um, her sleeves are like um, broken down and cascaded round, so they are like individual strands. Um, she's holding the frying pan, which is there, which is a nice little touch to this. The frying pan is absolutely an amazing touch. I love that they've included it. And then her dress is just layers upon layers. Just look at that. You've got a purple, like violet layer at the bottom. You've got like a burgundy layer after that a darker purple and then this gorgeous two-tone fuchsia purple at the top which is fully embroidered like this is where the workmanship is like all of this the magic golden flower the leaves the thorns the little crystals that are in there it's all embroidered in with purple embroidery sparkly gold embroidery ivory greens like i absolutely love it and it goes all the way at the top it's on the other panel there but it's obviously hidden behind flynn's leg so if you do debox these you'll be able to see it Underneath, you can see that she is barefoot, as Rapunzel should be, if you can see that. When you pick them up, some of them were a little bit, like, bent, but luckily I didn't get a bent one. Um, let's look at Flynn quickly. He has his little Pascal there on the side, looking at him, ready to put his tongue in his ear. Flynn is another one that's great. He looks exactly like Flynn Rider. Like, they do his dolls really, really well, and they get his nose right. Um, 
His hair is sculpted, it's got like a nice like golden sheen to it. His outfit is great too, like if you have a look at that once it focuses, um, you'll be able to see that it's got like all the patchwork on it where it should be. It's got like all the buttoning on it, it's got like his little white cotton um, fleece inside. It's perfect, like he's got his little trousers on with his scuffed boots and he's wrapped in Rapunzel's hair. Even the chair is fully detailed, like look at that. The chair is so great, I love the way they've done this doll, it is stunning and um, this is probably the longest that they've ever done Rapunzel's hair on a doll. If you see it's literally wrapped all around him and it finishes under the chair. I think this is the best one of the set. I'm trying to keep these going as quick as I can but the next one is Cruella. Just look at her, like that is exactly Cruella. From some of the stock photos I wasn't quite keen on her but she looks great. She's got like the exact face mold of Cruella as you see in the cartoon. Big green eyeshadow, like long rooted eyelashes, deep red lips. One side of her hair is black, the other side is white, and then you can see she's got the two curls at the top, as Cruella does. Oh, her outfit as well is totally Cruella. Uh, let's just zoom this in so you can see. Um, she's got like an amazing like skin tight black leather dress in there. Like, check that out. It's full of diamonds on the corset at the front. You can see that there. And then she's wearing a black choker. The real star of the show is Cruella's fur coat. Literally, it is perfect. It's obviously not real fur, so don't worry guys. But it is huge. It like is bundled at the back because it's so huge. It's got all the fur details on it. It is amazing. It is a cream colour from the shoulder parts here, as you can see there. And then it cascades into like a pearlescent white. <laughs> Her fur coat is the best part of it. I don't even care. Underneath, you can see it here. It is laced with red underneath. It is so amazing. You can see the back of her dress there. Um, her fur coat is the best. She is wearing red gloves on both sides. She's got silver bangles on and she's holding her fur black purse right there, which you can see. On the other side, again, she is clutching her fur. She's got more silver bangles. I wish they gave her the cigarette holder thing with her cigarette. I think it would have been the perfect touch for Corella. And finally in this set, she's surrounded by all the Dalmatians. You've got Pongo and Purdy. I didn't actually notice this before, but they have like actual dangly dog collars. Like look at that, it's really amazing. And then you've got that, like, the little Dalmatians at the bottom. They are so, so cute, nicely sculpted, and they're perfect additions for this set. Next up, you have Mulan and Li Shang. A little close up of Mulan's face for you. It's exactly Mulan. It's Mulan as Ping. She hasn't got any makeup on, obviously. She's got the little Mushu on her shoulder. Her hair is tied up with a little green bow there. Li Shang is also amazing. He looks great. He's looking off to the side, looking very da dashing. He's got sculpted hair right there. Their outfits are absolutely insane. Like, look at the Ping outfit. Full of detail. Like, this is why I wanted the Mulan one. These are um, cardboard, by the way, which was a little bit annoying. They should have put like real rocks in there, but they are cardboard. Um, but her outfit is insane. She's got like a red jeweled, which is her father's sword there. She's got like all this like um, chain, like rope embroidery as like a little rope belt thing. Her sash around her waist is fully embroidered. It's amazing. It's got gems in it. She's got like the padded here. This is like a leather material, which has got like green outline. She's got like the black leather scaly things. Everything is like lined, look at that, and stitched. The bottom bit is fully embroidered. Like, so much detail went into this one. I think out of all of them, this is the most detailed. She's got like her little um, silk pants on with her boots at the bottom, which are nicely scuffed to make them look authentic. Li Shang too, like he's got his little um, armor, padded armor there, which is like fully embroidered. You can see that there. He's got like a red cape on which cascades all the way behind him. He's also got scuffed boots but he's got like cotton grey trousers on. And he's got embroidery work here too with like red um, here to match his cape. Um, their outfit, th this one's incredible, I love it. It even has like a material flag in the background with the dragon on it. Let me try and see if you can see that there. 
It is so good. This set is so worth it. Next up is a doll set that got a lot of criticism. It is the Moana and the Kakamora set. Now, this set was one that I criticised, saying that it looked like a, a classic doll just in a box with extra features, but up close and actually getting this, you can see why it's a designer one. There's a lot more embroidery and a lot more like details that have gone into it. And um, the one thing I will say about this set is that her necklace, the Heart of the Ocean, doesn't open up to actually reveal um, the heart of the ocean, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So let's start off. Moana's face is beautiful, like it's a perfect sculpture of Moana's face. It's got her um, exact face sculpt, her big brown eyes. She's wearing the uh, ceremonial crown um, that she wears during the film, which is odd for this outfit choice and the, like where she is actually in the film for this scene because she's actually just wearing the outfit. So <clears throat> it's an odd choice, but it's a nice little addition for the money that you pay. Her hair is slack back and it is her normal black hair, black wavy curly hair, which goes all the way down. It's really, really long for Moana, but yeah. And then at the top, um, look out for it if you do buy it. There are some where you can see a lot of her scalp, so make sure you pick a nice one. Um, I know this one is definitely still in stock. Um, so moving on from Moana, like looking at her outfit, her outfit has got a lot of embroidery in it. So like her top has got embroidery, it's got like white embroidery here, and all of these patternings here are in like a darker brown and they're all embroidered on. And the same with her belt, her belt is the same as her top. Um, and then this is like that, it's got like the water droplets on it, it's got like the gold um, stitching on it. Um, like that woven effect and then she's got like the hulu skirt underneath which is pretty awesome I love that the different fabrics and textures that they've used for Moana's outfit They've done her really really well um, And then her feet she's lined she's got bare feet There's no sand on her feet this time which is annoying which would have been a nice feature like the 17 inch ones But she's got like the ring of like green around one ankle like I said, I wish there was sand, um, but this is where they didn't skip with detail. Look at the ore. The ore is actually signed by Maui now, and I love that because on the 17 inch, neither of them did, did it have the signature. Um, and at this point in the film, it was signed by Maui. So I love that they included this. It's such a good little touch. And then the other thing about this set is the Kakamora. Like, they are really, really done well. Something that I didn't notice before is that on the Chief Kakamora, like his little um, boots here, they're actually woven, like, like um, material. So this is awesome, and like, this is really spiky. Like, look at all the details in the Kakamora. I'll go in closer so you can see them. Like, it's amazing. And this is an actual string that they string from, like when they um, hit the boat. Um, so yeah, like, look at all the details that have actually gone into the Kakamora. They've done them so well, and each one is different. Like, every Kakamora was different in the film, so as we go down, like, there's the ones that stand on top of each other. The Kakamora are amazing. They're done so, so well. Let me see if I can turn this around so you can see their little faces. Um, yeah, there they are. And they've all got their spears, they've all got their different coloured hats and bits and pieces. Um, oh look, there's Hey Hey. Hey Hey's in there as well, I didn't notice that. Um, which is another nice little feature. Like this set is done really, really well. Like I, I'm really happy with this one. I love that you get a lot and for the size of the box, it fills out the box. So I think this one was a good one to pick up. Last but not least, we have Ariel and King Triton. Ariel is a lot shorter than Triton to match like the size difference between the characters. There is Ariel's face. She has eyelashes on, which you can see. She's got her big blue eyes. She's looking up in like a bewildered pose. She's got like really nice like uh, pink eyeshadowing um, and her blue eyes, as I said. Her hair, her bangs are going in the right direction, I believe. And then her hair cascades all the way down behind her and curls right at the bottom. Ariel's outfit looks great. I just don't know why they haven't given her a purple seashell bra. Like, I don't understand, Ariel's bra is purple, but nonetheless, this one is great, it resembles like the limited edition one, as seashells, and coral, and starfish, and it's wrapped around her neck, um, and then at the bottom, you have her scale tail, which is amazing, this actually looks really great, this is probably my favourite Ariel tail they've ever done, I love at the bottom that they use different co colours of organza to like, um, highlight her tail so this is her tail as is this and it's got little like topaz and like uh, silver crystals in it which is great um, I 
Love that this is laced with like topaz too, so it's a bit of a two-tone. They've done her tail really, really well. You have a little flounder and Sebastian right there. And then I think the star of the show is King Triton. We've never seen him in doll form before and he looks great. Like, he's got his crown, his long white hair, he looks really young, like he looks, he looks like a younger version of King Triton, but they have got his face mould really well, they've got his long, like, moustache really well, his long beard done really well, it's like a two-tone grey silver, he's obviously topless, and he's got his gold gauntlets, he is holding a King Tri his staff, obviously, his Triton, and it's fully detailed, like, look at that, it looks like the actual Triton from the movie, it looks amazing, it's like laced to match like Ariel's tail, if you can see it's got like the, the gold um, lacing there. His tail is done in the same way, it is like um, the same, similar colour to Ariel's, with like gold embellishments which make it look like scales. His tail is here in the back, it's like a material style with like embro blue embroidery going in it. His tail is massive, it like takes up all the way at the back of the box too. And then one of the main parts of his outfit is his cape. It's like a grey like cotton cape but it's the inside that matters. It's fully lined with this like dark blue, dark grey colour and it's like got amazing detail on it on like a silk and it's on the inside of the entire cape. And overall, this set is another amazing one. So there we have it, guys. That is my review of the Disney Designer Limited Edition dolls this year. My five. Um, I really, really love that they've done them this year. I really hope they do continue them next year with different characters. I'd love to see Esmeralda and Belle in next year's line. Um, these are my three favourites from this year, with Rapunzel being my all-time favourite. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Did you guys pick up any? What do you guys think of this year's designer dolls? Let me know down there in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!